Testing one, two, testing one, two. What's up guys, it's Dario from Bluebird and today I wanna to talk to you about the April Dripper. Um, I was first introduced to this dripper in Milan last year. Obviously, I'd been following Patrick Rolf, the inventor, and the story behind April and the dripper that he took to second place at the World Brewers Cup Championships, I believe in 2020, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been 2019. Um, and the, the ideas behind the brewer, but I had never had a chance to taste coffee from it or to use it myself until I was in Milan for the World Barista Championships last year. Um, Patrick brewed me some coffee at a little pop-up. Um, it happens to be coffee from my favorite farm, Vulcan Azul, who we buy a lot of coffee from. It happens to be one of my favorite varietals, the SL28, and brewed by Patrick through his brewer in this amazing setting. It might have been one of the best cups of coffee of my life. Um, I picked up the glass version of the brewer at that event and I have loved brewing on it ever since. We've been using it in our cafe alongside the Kalita um, as well as the Cafec Flower Dripper and the V60. Through extensive testing, we've come to the conclusion as a team that the April Brewer is going to be our choice of brewers going forward, um, serving coffee in our, in our cafe, certainly, and also around recipe development or for recipe development for our home brewers. So if you're a subscriber um, to our coffee or if you buy a lot of coffee from us, I would highly recommend picking up an April Brewer because we're gonna be talking about this device a heck of a lot. So there are three different versions of the April Brewer. There's a ceramic, which I don't have. There's the glass that we've been brewing with for quite some time now. And then the latest version two of the plastic brewer. The only update to the plastic version is the materials. The design itself is the same and we've brought these in there for sale on our web store. And this is the brewer that we'll be using in our cafe. Now, um, I don't have, the, the first question that's gonna come up is what is the difference between the three? There have been a lot of studies around materials and brewers and heat retention um, and plastic seems to come out on top time and time again. We don't have the kinds of thermometers that you would need and temperature probes you would need to do extensive testing besides taste testing. Um, we have brewed a number of cups of coffee side by side now with the plastic and the glass. I can't perceive a massive difference in taste between the two, but we do know that the plastic brewer steals the least energy or, or heat from the brewer across a variety of materials. So uh, we back the plastic from a heat retention point of view. Obviously there's some sustainability issues that you may have, have um, you know, yourself around plastic and the use of plastic, but it's not single use. We're gonna be using this over and over and over again for a long time. Um, the brewer feels very, very well made and um, I don't have too many concerns around that. The glass brewer comes in two pieces. There's a plastic ring and the glass brewer itself. And what we have found in the, in the cafe is that we're constantly looking for one or the other and having it built in all in one in the plastic brewer makes sense. And especially in a high volume environment like a cafe, this is the brewer of choice for us. Um, I will be taking the glass brewer home and this will become one of my, one of my home brewing devices. So um, in the future, we will bring in the various options, but for now we have the plastic available. Well, whether this is a good comparison or not, I'm not completely sure, but I like to think of it as a, um, or in, in context of an espresso machine's basket. So if you're buying a domestic espresso machine, you often get sent a non-pressurized and a pressurized basket. The non-pressurized is the same as what we'd use in a cafe environment. It's basically a steel basket with a bunch of holes in the bottom and water can flow through that basket. A pressurized basket has got a second skin at the bottom of the basket that forces water to pass through the bed of espresso and then out a much smaller hole creating back pressure and slowing down the flow rate. When I'm thinking of a cone brewer, I'm thinking of it in the context of a pressurized portafilter basket. The small hole, the shape of the brewer, it just seems to slow down or hinder flow rate. And certainly if you're trying to use pore structure to influence flow rate. What we found with flat bottom brewers in general is that we're able to use our pore structure to really, really influence the, the way that water flows through the bed of our coffee and um, 
manipulate flavor profiles or, or characteristics, cup characteristics, through our pouring at a certain grind setting. So the, the discussion then was Kalita versus April. And for us, we just love the way that water flows through the April. We are really, really able to manipulate um, flow rate through pour structure. And for us, it's just the best brewer that we've tested. So I'm really excited to have these available. Our current recipe on the, the April Brewer is very, very simple. Uh, actually, I know that Patrick's got some um, recommended recipes on his website, and I can't remember what the ratios that they're working with in his cafe are. We're working with a 14 gram dose and 200 grams of water. Um, we're doing two equal pours of 100 grams with a minute 30 between pours, and we're doing a circular pour first for about half of the 100 grams per pour and then center pour for the second half and we're finding that um, the overall balance the the tactility the sweetness the acidity is really well balanced um, using that pour structure um, we're hitting really good variables in terms of extraction and tds very much in line with what we're aiming for on a consistent basis and uh, we're very happy overall so if you haven't tried the april brewer yet i'd highly recommend it um, we're also excited to have it in blue obviously that fits really well with the whole bluebird thing and um, we're hoping that you'll be able to enjoy this brewer share your recipes with us if you've got any questions about the april about other pour over devices or if you've got any questions comparing different devices please comment below we'll be sure to answer them as best as we can and um, yeah we're looking forward to hearing what you think of it ciao